Alright guys, welcome back to another video and this one is actually very important because I want to talk to you guys about events. One of the most important concepts of not only Construct 2 but game design. Now, what an event is, is a thing that makes a game fun to play. It's something that can happen in your game that triggers a result. So, in this game, we're going to have a bunch of different events and every single event is going to be broken up in two parts. The first part is called the condition. It's the thing that happens. The second part, called the action, is the result. So I'll give you guys a couple examples. One example is a condition like um, pressing down on our mouse. Well, that's the condition. What is the result or the action of that? Well, it fires a bullet. All right, let's talk about another event. Um, the condition would be what happens if the dude, our player, comes in contact with the monster. Well, the result of that would be our player dies. So this is how we determine when he shoots a monster, give him a point. When a monster runs into him, he dies. Once he reaches the end, next level. Those are all the thing, or excuse me, all the things that make a game fun to play. And all of those things are events, and all of them we put in the event sheet. So again, this is your main layout where we were. There you can see a tab at the top called event sheet. That's where we're going to be making the brains of the game. Now, another thing I want to point out is this. It's kind of a boring concept, but you're going to need to know it later on. Your animation in all games, and also even like when you're watching a movie or anything, it's not a true animation. It's not movement. What an animation is, is just a bunch of still images put together rapidly so when you look at them one after each other they look like movement or video so actually if you ever watched a movie there's actually about 30 images every second and then once they play them um, together it looks like the video is moving so again animation on a computer is a little bit different than movement in real life so just remember that and also I know I'm overloading you guys with tons of information right here but this is kind of important most monitors, computer monitors, they refresh their frame rate, which pretty much means put 60 images a second. So remember that, and you guys are going to see later in this video why I just told you guys that random piece of information. So the first thing that we could do is pretty much make, well, I don't even know what we're going to do. Let's say that we want to say, is the, did the user click with their mouse? If they did, fire a bullet. So let's go ahead and create a very simple event right here and in order to do that just double click anywhere on this event sheet and whenever you do that it adds an event so anytime you want to add a new event or check if something is happening just double click and now let's go ahead and tell it right now oh, well, let me think of an event that we can do first let's say that um the player wants to look at the mouse okay so for this event, we actually click system right here because we're not actually testing. Um, it's kind of hard to explain it right now, but we're not actually checking if something ran into the monster or, or the player or the bullet. What we're checking for is just if the person who's playing the game did something. So whenever you're getting input from the player, the player or the input isn't part of the game. It's part of the system. So now, what exactly do we want to check for? Well, what we want to do is choose every tick right here. And this tick is basically the frame rate. So instead of um, having a different frame like you would in a movie, a tick, which is going to happen 60 times a second in this game, is pretty much um, the frame rate of the game. So whenever we say check every tick, what this is going to do is it's going to check for this event every 60 times a second so it's pretty much constantly waiting for something to happen well now we got to give the um, the other information so let's go ahead and add an action here so every second what do you want to do well what we want to do is have the player probably click that too fast have the player look at where your mouse is on the screen so that way he can rotate so if I have it up here he's gonna be looking up if I have it down here his gun is gonna be pointed down pretty much where do you want the player to aim the gun that might be a little bit easier to understand so the result of checking this every second is the player is going to perform a 
certain action. Well, what's he going to do? Well, it's actually, some of these um, names are weird. But what we want to do is set angle towards position. And whenever we double click that, it says OK. So every second, look at where your mouse is and set the player pointing his gun in this position. So now we have to give it an X and Y coordinate where it's pretty much saying, OK, well, what angle do you want the player to point the gun? Well, for the X coordinate, and this is, it's kind of helpful if you know programming or JavaScript in particular. What we're going to do is put mouse X and hit enter. And for Y, just hit mouse Y and hit done. And now it's probably going to be really easy to see if you just read this. So again, this first thing right here, system, is pretty much saying, okay, from the computer or, you know, whatever thing you're running this on, your phone or whatever, every single tick, which is pretty much equal to constantly, so constantly check for where your mouse is, the X and Y coordinates of your mouse, and set the angle of your player towards the mouse. So it's probably really easy if, you, if I just show you guys. So right now, if I put my mouse up, it's constantly refreshing and saying, okay, set the angle of that player and have them point towards the mouse. And even though it looks like one continual motion, this is actually checking 60 times every second. So therefore, you know, we could set it at like, um, just like once every second, but then he's going to be all jerky. So that's why I want to teach you guys about ticks and how to pretty much make a very basic event. Now, I know that was a lot of information and you guys are like, wow, this game is going to suck. Events are going to take forever to make. But trust me, once I do like two other ones, you guys are going to make, wow. That was actually incredibly easy. So um, in the next couple tutorials, we have to add a bunch more events like what happens when a bullet shoots a monster, what happens when a monster runs into a player, and then we're going to be also adding um, several actions for, well, I'll tell you guys later. I don't want to throw everything at you. You guys understood enough in this tutorial. So thank you guys for watching. And also, if you have any questions at all, just ask me on my forum, buckysroom.org forum. I'll be happy to answer them for you there. So thanks, and I'll see you next time.